Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's currently week four of uni and things are definitely starting to ramp up. I'm a neuroscience major at the University of Melbourne taking a full load of science subjects. So it's been intense pretty much all semester long. I've been a uni student for about a year and a half now and I've really spent this time investigating and experimenting to see what sort of social work-life balance works well for me. So I'm going to be taking you guys through a pretty standard week in my life that doesn't include mid-semesters or exam weeks because those are totally different stories. And I'm going to be studying pretty intensely but also taking the time to see some of my favourite people and do some of the things that are just not part of uni for once. I am heading off to go to uni today to meet a friend and also to attend a class but before we go, I'm going to start the day with a bio lecture and show you guys how I organise the many many lectures that I have in a week. Everyone knows that if there's one thing you should never do in uni, it's fall behind. I'm taking four science subjects, all which have really heavy loads of memorization and understanding that need to be done by the end of the week. I'm also taking three bio subjects alone, with no prior bio background, so that makes this even more important for me to stay up to date with. My favourite organisation platform is Notion, and I essentially use this platform to record time slots for the next two weeks to ensure I stay on top of all of my work. Using time slots has been a technique I've used all throughout my senior year of high school and it's what allowed me to stay on top of all my academics. I like to plan hour by hour because I like to see everything laid out in front of me but I understand that this doesn't work for most people since it's quite rigid. I start by firstly putting in all my compulsory events, when I need to be on uni for classes and my work hours. But at this stage in the semester, it also includes any social gatherings I've set in advance. Then I put in time blocks for lectures. I try and get them all done by the weekend, but sometimes this is a bit tough because they come out over the course of the week, with three of them coming out on Thursday and Friday alone. Then I slot in all my study sessions, prioritising bio-revision and any upcoming assignments. So, for example, I have an animal biology assignment due in a handful of days, so that's going to get a lot of priority this week. I do overschedule though, which ensures that if I need a rest, I'm still going to be covered, but for the most part, this schedule allows me to do whatever I want, but also need to do in a week. It is currently, it is lunchtime essentially and Lisa and I are basically just having a little, having a little picnic, having a little picnic in a park near uni. Karyage chicken and this like, <laughs> Lisa giving me the cues. Um, I got this, I think it's basically like an orange drink and then I also got this this matcha cookie, which was $5.50 for one cookie, but it's like the best cookie I've ever had in my entire life. My life recently, mm. it's been too long. Next. I have some lovely possum animations for you. Mm -hmm. Love that possum. I can't like, imagine self eating each other. Yeah, just imagine it. Call them separate when they um in coffee each other. And then for the chloroplast, it's basically yeah. secondary because that thing already had a mitochondria in it. So it's already eaten the mitochondria the cell with the mitochondria, so it's gone through that first primary mm -hmm. endo thingy and there's some yeah and then it decided to eat another chloroplast and then the chloroplast it's sort of the same thing as the mitochondria is that is that pretty is that it basically, that's how i understood it but it was like it was like yeah this is like fish man
Good morning guys, it is Wednesday today, also known as the day Twice tickets go on sale. I'm a massive fan of Twice, I've been, they were one of the first K-pop groups I ever got into after BTS, so I've been listening to their music and just following them as a group, I'm just like looking down at my iPad. Um, I've been following them as a group since around 2017, right around I would say Likey era, end of Likey era. Um, so it's been a long time coming. I never thought that JYP would actually send them to Australia because from my Stray Kids concept vlog, I literally manifested this. I was like, JYP, send your girl groups to Australia. And a week later, JYP announces that Twice is going on tour in Australia, which is crazy because they've never come here before. So. You can thank me for that. <laughs> Kidding, don't do that. This is currently the situation right now. Two hours later. So I did end up getting tickets, which is so exciting because I can't believe I'm actually gonna see Twice Live. But they, they aren't that great of tickets to be completely honest with you. I wanted to get a reserve or hot seat. I was even contemplating sound check, but it was just like a little out of my budget. But I'm gonna try again tomorrow to get tickets and we'll just see how it goes. At the end of the day, I'm going to see twice. <laughs> I'm currently actually going to head to uni today. As you can see, I'm wearing like a really lounge sort of outfit, like super, super comfy today, just because um, girl's tired. I actually wanted to stay home today, but decided I'd actually make an effort to go to class. Hey guys, I am back from uni. Um, it's been a long day. I've been outside for like maybe 10 hours, so ignore all of that. It's actually such a mess. So I came back from my first ever um, Sifty Society event and everyone there was just so wholesome and so lovely and I've never felt more welcome in a group of strangers who I've never met before and I made so many new friends and I just I can't wait for the next event basically. So I might already have shown you guys this but firstly I made this bracelet that's a you're on your own kid bracelet but I just replaced all the O's with like little hearts and as you can see it's like very purple and pink themed like super cute. And then I also made this bracelet which is my favorite and it basically says it's a little hard to see maybe I'll just put a photo of it it says but it's golden with like a little like a little gold heart for the Owen Golden. Um, and then the colors basically basically go from red to orange to yellow um, because in Taylor's song Daylight, she says that she thought that love was red, but it's actually golden. So I just thought I was a little bit clever there. And I actually haven't eaten all day as well. So I bought some food home. I got this like chicken skewer with this like rice cake. Um, and then I got this like delicious looking burger, which I was trying not to scoff down the entire way home, but I was so hungry. But I'm just going to finish eating and then I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break. And then I'm going to have another study session at night.
across the sports arena right on Thursday. And please come back. It's very important. That's it. Go home. Relax. You're not sure anymore if you should even clap for shit like that, right? Sunrise up. 